Welcome back. Good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on this part series on this day in black music history. Now we resume with part 24. Now I call it a day as far as these videos are concerned. April 24th, the number one R&B song on April 24th. April 24th was in 1961 by an artist named Ernie K. Doe, mother-in-law. April 24th, 1948, the Mills Brothers charted with Shine, reaching number 10 R&B in 1932. The group had a pop hit with the same song at number 7 with Bing Crosby singing lead, making it one of the few times in recorded history that an act had two top 10 hits with the same tune and different recordings. April 24th, 1954, Diablo's debuted Adios, My Desert Love. My Desert Love. Adios, My Desert Love. I think it's Desert Love. Diablo's debut Adios, My Desert Love. And the chords, Shaboom, were released. Shaboom was originally considered the throwaway B-side. On April 24th, 1976, Parliament formally the Parliaments reached number five R&B with Tear the Roof Off the Sucker, Give it Up give up the Funk. It was the first of George Clinton in the Parliament's seven top ten R&B hits. Not bad for a kid who started out working at the Uptown Tensorial Parlor, which was a Newark, New Jersey barbershop. April 24th, 1982, Stevie Wonder's dead duet with Paul McCartney Ebony and Ivory reached number one in Britain and would soon be number one pop for seven weeks in the States and number eight R&B. On April 24th, 1982, Patty Halston. Patty Austin, with her duet with James Ingram, Baby Come To Me, reached the top 100 for the second time. The record was first released almost a year earlier, reaching only number 73. But after being featured in the soap opera General Hospital, it was reissued and will eventually climb to number one. It will be Austin's only pop chart number one. April 24th, 1992, Prince performed at the Sydney Entertainment Center in Sydney, Australia. It was the first of six sold out shows. So that was a quick one. I look back at the events and moments that took place in black music history. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed everything I talked about overall. The three, uh, videos that I've done part 22 part 23 and part 24 tomorrow I do part 25 26 and 27 I'm gonna try to do like three videos a day or four and keep it moving but I'm gonna give you a lot of content to just create a lot of traffic for um, you the listeners those who want to subscribe to the channel and make a comment you can do that feel free to do it uh, I got some good stuff coming with this uh on this day in black music history movement and it's in part series so it's gonna last a long time so stay tuned buckle up it's gonna be a great ride just ride with me and you'll learn a lot man about stuff that you probably never knew about never heard about that didn't recognize it it happened whatever it is all the above man you're gonna get the good stuff from yours truly Rashad Mitchell so that concludes a look at part 24 of on this day in black music history I upload the video you can check out the description once I post everything of what I'm about and uh, support, man. Comment, subscribe. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.